The Army's come a long way in the past few years, and we're all proud of its progress. You career soldiers are the key to the Army's future. Today's Army needs the best qualified people it can get for its jobs, and it's willing to spend a lot of time and money to train and keep them. A large part of this effort is spent to give each soldier an opportunity to get a quality education. An education that fills his needs both on the job and when he re-enters the civilian world. How do you fit in? How can the Army help you get where you want to go? That's what this film is all about. Beyond that, it'll be up to you. You can make your own decisions. Fair enough? Well, let's get started. G E D Army Educational Services. The GED stands for General Education Development. The Army thinks that you should take advantage of the educational services that it provides for soldiers, for your own benefit and for the Army's. Now, there are a lot of reasons why you should invest time, energy, and maybe money to improve yourself through education. But we also know that you can come up with a reason why you think you shouldn't. Huh? Well, let's, uh, let's take a look at some of your reasons first. Maybe your memory of education is not too pleasant. A lot of time spent on dull subjects in which you had no interest to begin with. You broke free of it at the first opportunity swearing that you'd had enough of education and schooling to last you a lifetime. Or maybe you feel, who needs it? You join the army, you went through basic and advanced, you've got a job you like, you put in your day, you earn your money, so why push it? Maybe you realize the value of further education. But you also feel that your free time is too damn valuable to give up. You might be that rare item the contented man. Happy with what you've got, enjoying life in general, not particularly looking for anything else, not goaded by any particular ambition. One other possibility, and it's a common one, is that you don't have the self-confidence to put yourself to the test. You're not sure if you can cut it, and you're gonna make sure you don't blow it by not making the attempt. Those are a few of the reasons why some of you might not be thinking about more education. Don't let it happen to you. You should grab every educational opportunity available to you because, just like the rest of the world, life in the Army is competitive, tough, and demanding, and you can't afford not to. If you ever looked for a job in the civilian world, you know what I'm driving at. Suddenly, you're just one of many. One of the herd, a Mr. Nobody, looking for a break. You look intelligent, alert, neat, and presentable. But to the interviewer, that's not all that counts. He looks, sure, but what can he really see? Your personality, your charm, your bright, clear, and steady eyes, your eager expression. No. He's got to look for something beyond this. The extent and quality of your education, courses of study, diplomas, certificates, degrees, experience, these are what he must also judge you by. The working civilian world is tough and competitive. It makes demands you have to meet and sets standards to which you must measure up. Can the Army afford to look at the soldier any differently? Given the importance of its mission, it cannot function effectively unless many hundreds of highly technical jobs are performed with skill and efficiency. It cannot exist without professional leadership of the highest caliber. Can it be any less demanding than the civilian world? Can the standards it sets for its personnel be anything 
but the highest. What it all adds up to is this. Today's army is changing, developing, constantly moving forward. The soldier has no choice but to move with it or fall behind. He must improve his qualifications, his credentials, his professional skills. And the best way he can accomplish that is by taking advantage of the opportunities made available to him by Army General Educational Development Program. Let's take a look at just what these opportunities are. The Army Educational Development Program offers a complete range of education services to all active duty Army personnel. Professional counselors are available to help you with the choice of which program is best for you. Maybe you need to finish high school. The GED program can help you at no cost. Could be you're interested in learning a trade, maybe getting a vocational certificate or degree. You can do it. Perhaps college work interests you. Many colleges teach courses on post, or you can attend on campus if your work schedule permits. The Army will even help pay your tuition. Need to study to improve your job proficiency? MOS libraries are available for your use. Learn a language? GED can help. And that's just parts of it. <laughs> Boy. Ted. This is about education. What are you doing here? Just listening to what you're telling everyone, Lil. Ah, uh, sounds great. Too great, really. What's the catch? What's the catch? That's right, what's the catch? Ted, that sounds suspicious and that's not like you. Well, well, you know, last week I went to a used car dealer just to look around. The next thing I know, I'm stuck with three years of, of payments. I mean, for example, I need to make up enough credits for a high school diploma, right? Am I going to find myself signed for four years of college? Uh, Ted, I don't think you're in any danger of that. I wouldn't worry about it. I'm talking about educational services. The soldier decides just how far he wants to go and at what pace. His involvement is as slight or as extensive as he wants it to be. He, not the army, he. Oh, how slight or how, how extensive? I don't know what the heck you're talking about. I, uh, I could tell you, but I'd rather show you. Pictures? Pictures. <laughs> Good. <laughs> now, let's start by visiting an Army Education Center. Oh, is it far? Oh, relax, Ted, relax. We're going to travel by film. All Army installations, or posts, with a troop strength of 750 or more, are authorized to operate education centers. Oh, is there just one place where I can get all this info? Oh, no, 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 no. These education centers are army-wide. And naturally, they vary in size and facilities. Now, the one we're going to look at is located at Fort Bragg, North Carolina. Oh, oh, good. I've always wanted to visit the far north. <laughs> Bragg's Army Education Center includes several buildings. One, they concentrate on military education. Let's move inside. Why should we move inside? Because I think it will give us an answer to your question about how slight is slight. If he wants it to be, a soldier's involvement with continuing education can be as simple a matter as studying manuals related to his military occupational specialty. The center will supply him with the manuals. All he has to do is come and get them. All education centers maintain MOS libraries. And they're stocked with a wide variety of military publications and manuals. It keeps him up to date. It refreshes his memory on points he may have forgotten. It may also teach him a few things he didn't cover in a service school. Mainly, though, it might serve to get him back into the swing of learning again, out of the rut of routine performance of his duties. Do they have Mad Magazine? Everything, Ted. Everything. Well, what else do they have to offer, aside from reading matter, that is? It varies. Remember, we're talking about services. And those services are adjusted to conform to the demand. 
When there's enough demand, for instance, refresher courses are given. Where's the main focus, Ed? The main focus, the only focus here, is on the man's professional skills, development of his capabilities within his job. The better he is at his job, the better that job is done, which not only makes the Army happy, but also improves his chances for advancement and promotion. Well, you make it sound like a game that nobody loses. Nobody does, Ted. Any skill can be a valuable asset to a man. And in addition to classroom instruction, there's another valuable commodity available here. Guidance. Somebody to talk to. Somebody who knows his score and can answer his questions. You may be concerned about an evaluation test or have some questions about a service school. He may have nothing specific in mind, just the urge to improve himself or to take advantage of whatever opportunities might be available to him. Here he can sit down with a counselor, a professional educator who will have the answers. The counselor tells him what to do? No. The counselor tells him what he can do, what courses of action are open to him, what steps he might take, what help is available to him. But the soldier, makes his own decisions. He decides, go or no go. Oh, like a stop sign. Yes. A few easy steps or an all-out effort. Have I made my point? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You've been inside. Yep, yep. No traps, no, no. no hooks, no, no snares. Mm -hmm. Just services available on request. Right. The doors open both ways. Well, uh, now, how about those uh, experimental labs? Uh, program study halls or something like that? I've heard somewhere around here. You mean the Program Instruction Center or Learning Labs? That's it. Well, I'm glad you asked. The Program Instruction Center or Learning Lab has a lot to offer, especially to the man who, for one reason or another, might be unenthusiastic about sitting down in a classroom or who likes to do things solo at his own speed. A loner. Uh, yeah, like you, Ted. This building stocks a wide variety of learning devices, electronic and mechanical, that allow the student to go as fast or as slow as he likes. I like that. That'd be good for you. They bring a new dimension to learning. Some men think they almost make it fun. <laughs> well, it depends on what your idea of fun is, Lou. Hey, don't misunderstand me. Learning something new is never easy in a classroom or with the latest gadgets. It still takes a lot of effort, concentration, attention, hard work, you might say. And willpower. Oh. I need a lot of willpower working alone like that. Yes, yes, and you would understand that, Ted. He doesn't have to study alone, though. Some fellows come in here in teams. They get together with a buddy or two and make up their own student bodies. It gives them some moral support and a good chance to kick ideas around. What are some of the ideas they can learn this way? Well, again, there's a pretty wide variety. Anything from spelling and basic grammar, of course, you, you don't need that, <laughs> to fairly complicated technical subjects. Programmed instruction offers the soldier a chance to learn at his own convenience. He can make his own schedule and shape the pace to his own requirements. It's a fresh, modern approach to learning. So that's a programmed instruction center. That's one of them. Well, uh, where do we where do we go from here? Let's take a look at the main office. This is it. This is it. The main office of an army education center. Looks like a travel agency. What's happening in here? Well, uh, that man's being interviewed by a military education counselor. Questions and answers, huh? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is that really necessary? It's the key to the whole system, especially if the soldier is interested in that uh, extensive involvement you asked about earlier, mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. college, for instance. Mm -hmm. A counselor will give him expert guidance and practical information about goals, schools, courses, credits, time, costs, the works. Well, it's always nice to have someone to talk to, I guess. <laughs> yes, Ted especially when that someone is interested and concerned, willing and able to help. You bet it is. Any questions? 
I asked you if you had any questions. Oh, no, not really. Uh, as a matter of fact, I, I forgot what it was I came in for. <laughs> Let's see, I, I think I left it in the other, the other room. I'll, I'll, I'll go, I'll go see if I... It's over here somewhere. I'll find it. Good luck. Earlier we said that you should get involved in Army educational programs because you really had no choice that you really couldn't afford not to. Well, that's still true, of course. You can't be promoted over the level of E5 without a high school diploma or equivalent. And the Army now expects warrant officers to have two years of college and commission officers to have a degree. But there are other reasons. Better reasons, maybe. Promotion, progress, higher income, they're all important. But learning, is more than a search for position and money. It's a progress that man has been engaged in ever since he crawled out of a cave. It's the total forward march of civilization from the discovery of fire to the exploration of outer space. His ability to learn may be man's greatest distinction. And a man isn't a total man if he doesn't develop his capabilities to their fullest. If he doesn't work to achieve his fullest potential. In the final analysis, the single most important reason for continuing involvement with the process of education is you owe it to yourself. Listen, if you have any questions, get on down to your Army Education Center. They've got all the answers you need. One other thing. Use it or lose it. See you in school.